video, we're going to walk through the customizer day and show you guys how to use it. Go ahead and click the customize your message feature below. There you'll notice that there is a canvas up top where you have your text area and your image area. And over to the right hand side you'll have a layers palette. Here you can click and drag a layer around to change the order of it. You can hide or show it, add a drop shadow, or even lock the layer in place. You can also delete all the layers, which we're going to do right now. You will notice that there is one layer that is not adjustable by any means, except for if you click on it, you can change the color of it. That is going to be the background for this image. So we're going to go ahead and click it, and we're going to go down to color, and we're going to select a color. I'm going to find just the right color here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and add an image to our canvas. And we're going to upload once. We'll click the upload image button. We're going to find a file on our computer. I've got one right here that I'm going to select and go ahead and open it. Once it's uploaded, it's going to show up. I'm going to select it and then it's going to be on my canvas. And I'm going to size it to fit into the workable area, which you'll notice is contained within the grid. Next, we're going to hit the Add Text box and add some text. I'm going to select a font here, add some, and I'm going to put some text in here so I can scale it up just right. I'm just going to type in Be Awesome. I want everybody to be awesome. That's kind of what the theme of the message is. So we're going to take it and we're going to size it down to fit that text area as well. Give me a second here while I do that. There we go. And that's it. That's how you work with the customizer. There's some more features and I uh, encourage everybody to play with it. We're going to go ahead and hit the customize item and we're going to wait for the server to uh, create your file. And once that's done, you can go to my custom media and access it. Thanks for watching.